Hey, how you doing today? What'd you say? Have a drink? This is my old friend, the, uh, the sake brewmeister. They got vending machines that sell sake in there. You can taste test them, so let's check it out. Oh, I eat it. Six and a half. How do you get those on And you press the yellow button. This is called umeshu or plum. It matches the color of the hat, doesn't it? Yeah, plum. Oh, really sweet. Mm. Oh, it's nice. Very refreshing. Velvety. That's nice. Creamy. Not sweet. Should we try number 100? There's a total of 111 of them in the whole joint here. So, Echiko Jiman Karakuchi. One point. Karakuchi. This should be dry. Okay. Down the hatch. This one, very smooth, like water. Goes down really smooth. It's milky. So you can see this. They've got the dryness, richness, aroma. They've got the English describing each of these. I don't like that one. Uh, last coin. Okay. This one's called Yaichi. So it's gonna be dry, dry, rich, and nice aroma. It also tells you the alcohol percentage too. These are all 15, 15 percent. This is my favorite. Yeah. Right there. Yaichi. That's good. Ichi. This is Ichiban from the Takahashi Brewery. That was great. Taste testing. Very nice. And these are all the sake breweries throughout Japan. No, this is just in Niigata Prefecture. Whoa, check out this old style classic restaurant. That is neat. And they've got some machines out here that sell their product. A couple of different ones. So. Different meat dishes here. Mm-hmm. Looking good. What is that? Beef beef tendon right there. Like a pasta dish. Interesting. <laughs> it's about oishi, Janai. Make make that hot. Oh spicy? No 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 no. I mean uh Walmart. Oh Alright. I guess we'll get some sweets from this machine too. Neat uh, Gaudi on, eh? Yes. Huh? Yes. Your English very good. No, nothing. <laughs> it's called Nani Momo Popo? This is the uh, sweet potato. Oh, sweet potato. Yeah. Uh, this restaurant? This restaurant's oh, specialty. Yeah. Ah, okay. It's amazake. Amazake? Ah, ha, ha, ha. It's good for your health. Oh, uh, ha, ha. So, very nice. Okay, thank you. So it's number one, one, two, three, four, all Sam? Yes. Okay. Okay, have a good day. Okay, thank you. Okay, fresh local foods. He just loaded the machine up. Awesome. I forgot to pull this one out. Yeah, when he came, this is the first one. Oh, 
yeah, it's just like a rice sake. Looks good. Check it out, we got a ramen shop here. It's packed, look at that, the parking lot's full. But they've also got a vending machine. Yeah, beautiful looking vending machine. Ramen vending machine. Get the ramen with the soft boiled eggs. Time to get some, yeah. Going in. Price is uh, $7.50 for number one. Oh, it comes in a beautiful box. Look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, there it is. The chashu pork. Look at that. Oh, looks good, looks good. Yep. It's a three pack. So yeah, some other goodies in here too. So this here is a sake shop. Yeah, it looks like they do a pretty big business. They've got a bunch of delivery trucks over here. But it's interesting because right here at the end of their lot, right at the end here, they got a vending machine. Yeah, different kinds of meats mostly. A steak from a vending machine. Let's get that. Honey going in. Number five. Where's the beef? Right there. Oh, it's a thick steak. It's like that. Uh, that's gonna be nice. Still hungry? Yeah, let's get some more food. Okay, and here we have Pizzata, Japan's number one pizza chain. Look at all these delivery vehicles. Oh, yeah. But they don't have any vending machines. <laughs> Michimitsu baked sweets. Beautiful, huh? I like the white stones. Everything's white in this building. Is it open? It's hard to tell. But they have a vending machine. Yep, the Ichimitsu Sweets vending machine. This is a cute machine, isn't it? Let's grab a brownie for sure for 320. Love me some brownies with looks like a bunch of nuts in it. It's all over that. Number eight. Ooh, that's cute. It's in a basket. Lovely. Cat paw pastry for 200. Oh, it's a cat paw. Oh, Japan is so cute. Gotta love that. Yodobashi camera. They got vending machines. Drinks. They've got passport photos. Three passport photo machines. Gashapon and little goodie capsule goodies. Oh, what's this? Inside here. Ooh, we got a frozen item vendor. Oh, these are really famous. These are the local cakes, huh? Oh, beautiful. This is called Daifuku. So coffee, mango, matcha, a bunch of different kabocha, blueberries, so many different types. Tiramisu. Here we go. Oh, we got four of them. It's a mixed pack. Nice. You guys ever seen a bicycle trash can before? Right here in this basket. It's kind of a drinking area, but they've got it's a curry vending machine. It's called Basil and Friend or Basil and Friend. It's like some gorgeous looking curries. Nice machine. Yeah. So yeah, a bunch of different kinds of curry. Masada curry. There's a lemon. What is this? Sri Lankan curry? Sri Lanka. Never had that before. They sell the rice separate. Okay. That's cool. Let's get some. 600 yen. It's number four. Bang, there it is. Oh, okay, so you just heat it up and it's ready to go. Okay, I think that is gonna do it. Let's get out of here and go eat. It's time to feast. All right, we are back and ready to feast. 
This is definitely a lot of stuff. This is a big haul from vending machines in Niigata Prefecture. The first item is the Yamazake, or sweet sake. And it comes in this sort of container. I guess you just drink right from the container. Oh, it's creamy. It smells. It says it's plain flavored which was the only one that was available, so it's like plain or nothing. It's really super thick. I don't know if you guys can see how thick that is, but Amazake. Yeah, it's uh, very traditional. Very traditional in Japan. All right, here we go. Kanpai. Kanpai, cheers to you, team. Get some. Oh, oh that is delicious. Tastes more like a yogurt. It's super, super thick. Mmm. That's so creamy. Oh, this is like a dessert. Not like the amazake I've had in the past, where it's just like a watered-down sake with little bits of rice in it. This is tasty. Mmm. Oh, yeah. How do I describe it? Like a, a thick yogurt drink with a little hint of sake. I don't think there's a high alcohol content in it. Very, very, very little trace. I think kids can drink it. Okay, so let's get on with the meal here. And I don't know where we're going to start. Let's, this is calling me this lamb meat right here, or lamb stew. First, we'll try it by itself, and then we'll eat it over the rice. Oh, boy, stewed lamb meat. Oh, oh my. Oh my God, it's so tender. Mmm. What else is in here? Gobo root. Oh, some carrots. There is some konyaku. And it's in a really nice sauce. Oh, this is good. No rice necessary. Mm-hmm. I just eat it like this. It's just a stew. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Wow. Okay. Slow down. Slow down. We'll have a little bit of rice with it. This is the kind of mixed rice. It's got some uh, mushrooms on top. Mm-hmm. Okay. Moving on to the ramen. And this ramen is a fish-based ramen. It's called, let's see what it's called here. It's got a name. I don't want to get the name wrong. From you got the prefixture. It is Niboshi. This is what it looks like. Does my picture look as good? Mm, probably not. But I've got toppings as well, too, to put on top. So I've got the pork char siu here. There are some sea plants. Uh, I'm not sure what type. And then this is called membo. Bamboo. Bamboo shoots. Okay. So let's dress it up and make it look nice. So typically the, the pack that I got out of the machine comes with just one slice of the pork. And then you can get this extra pack. And then just load the pork. I mean, this, this is my favorite stuff right here. So, yeah. Extra toppings. Why not? It is so heavy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, that's a that's a meal and a half right there. Oh goodness. Goodness, goodness. We have chopsticks here? Yes, we do. Okay, going in for the pork first. Mmm. Oh. Wow, that's good give you a close-up it's nicely balanced between the meat and the fat that's the beauty of chashu look at that gorgeous slice of meat let's get in here for the fish broth soup that is the characteristic this niboshi oh yeah fish soup oh it's so good that fish stock oh it's flavorful nice 
Yeah, I think I like it better than the standard shoyu or miso. It's fairly light, but it's got a really pleasant flavor. Yeah, it's not fishy. I mean, it's obviously it's fish broth, but you know what I mean? It's it's just nice. It's uh, salty. Mm-hmm. Try the seaweed here. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's flavored. I'm not sure what this is. I think these are ve mountain vegetables. This isn't seaweed. These are mountain vegetables. Mm-hmm. Very flavorful. Mm-hmm. Got a sweetness to them. And the Membo. Bamboo. Soft bamboo that's been marinated. Mm. Oh. Have we even tried the noodles yet? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Cooked just right. Meaning not too soft, not too hard. Pretty standard noodles. <clears throat> mm hmm Round noodles. Standard, I mean, by, like, the size. One more piece of this pork. This pork is so good. Oh. And the soup. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That is a banging a bowl of ramen. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the Sri Lankan curry. First time I've seen a curry vending machine selling, I mean, the whole machine selling different types of curry. Yeah, I mean, this is the biggest collection of machines I've seen in one little place that you can just walk to all of them without having to take a train anywhere. Just amazing. So, yeah, it's pretty easy to buy stuff right around the Niigata Station area. Yeah, the bullet train stops there. Yeah. Okay, going in for the curry first. It smells heavenly. And it doesn't smell like a curry that I've had before. I mean, I've had quite a bit of different types of curry in Japan. It's very popular. Is it a beef curry? I'll let you know. Big chunks here. Mm-hmm. Beef curry. Oh, it's a strong, oh, it's a strong curry. Oh, yeah. Herbs and spices and definitely some heat. Let's dip the naan in it. Definitely got to have some naan. Mmm. That is some very nice curry. Oh, it's thick and it's, oh, strong. Oh, I'm gonna put hair on your chest. Woo! Way to go, Sri Lanka. Mmm. Pretty fair amount of meat in here, too. That is some poppin' curry right there. Oh! And did I save the best for last? This is steak with demigrass sauce. Okay, here we go. Steak from a vending machine. All right. It's a stew, stewed, and the demigrass sauce, very nice, tangy. Mmm, oh, it's good. So thick with that sauce. And this came with focaccia bread right here. Did I give you a close-up of this? And dip that into the sauce here, for sure. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Give me some more of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is so good. Mmm. Wow. So far, everything is just amazing. But we've got dessert yet. So... 
bunch of different types here. From this pack right here, this is the Niigata Special. It's called Momofuku, famous sweets from Niigata. Four in the pack, I just chose these two here. So this one and the rabbit. We'll start with the basic one here. It's a chewy, chewy cake. Kind of reminds me of like carrot cake or something. What the inside looks like. It's good, not too sweet. Okay, and this one, shaped like a rabbit. Is it gonna be the same? Mr. Rabbit. Same exact flavor, I think. I can't tell the difference. And then this one came from the other sweets place. It's a, is that a paw? I think it's a cat paw. Yeah, all right. Going in. Mmm. I like this better. Sweeter. Mm-hmm. A nicer texture. It's a cake, but kind of similar to a cookie. It's got like a nice coating on it that reminds me of my grandmother's sugar cookies. Similar to Melon Pond, if you've had that before, too. That's good. All right. And we've got a brownie here. I believe this came from the same vending machine as the Cat Paw. So a specialty sweets shop, if you will. All right, going in for the brownie. Ooh, I like the walnuts on top. I'm going to say this is just the right amount of sweetness. Not too sweet, but not like cake either, like a real brownie. And we have these other four right here. We've got coffee, monguran, we've got sweet potato, and what is that one? Kabocha. Let's just do one of these. How about the kabocha, which is Japanese squash or pumpkin? Oh, okay. This is pounded rice. So another different variety. And then the kabocha should be on the inside. There is the orange pumpkin on the inside. Yeah, pounded rice. Oh. Creamy. Oh, this is really good. It's got some powdered sugar on the outside, it tastes like. Really nice, sweet pumpkin. Mmm. Oh, this is my favorite one. And it's great because I got three more of them. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is good. I've had a lot of mochi in Japan, pounded rice with different types of fillings. Typically, you get the anko, which is the uh, sweet bean paste. But this, this is a sweet pumpkin filling that is just um, incredible. It's got cream in it as well, too, to sweeten it. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Nicely chilled. So there it was, another vending machine extravaganza. Traveled far for this one. Niigata's a two-hour train ride, bullet train ride from Tokyo. But I think it was worth it. These machines, they, they've got different stuff from different prefixtures in Japan. That's what's happening now with the vending machines. So starting to expand out of the, the Tokyo Kanto Plain area and try some different areas in Japan. So on my rating scale today, I'm going full six. Definitely it's a nom nom nom. It's lit, yo. This was incredible. I enjoyed all of it. Everything was different than anything I've ever had before. It's the mom and pop shops that are doing this, which is it's just incredible. So because it's a perfect six, I'm giving away three. I'm going to get some snack packs. There's a batch of them over here. Uh, they're already packaged up. There's three of them. If you're not familiar, you just need to put a comment down below for your chance to win. And I announce three winners in the very next Eric Mealtime. So good luck, everybody. Uh, there'll also be a link on the screen somewhere if you want to see what's inside of these guys. And that's going to do it for this one. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Slap a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And I look forward to reading those comments. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>